Ready to find out who you are? We live in a complicated world, and we want to reflect that in the show. Not everyone in the show is all good or all bad. You know what's gonna happen now, right? They all have a little bit of blood on their hands, and they've all done complicated things to progress agendas. Who are you people? These are people who have agendas that are sometimes worthy and noble and sometimes sort of subversive and self-interested. You did have uh, a partner. The drama of how they interact with one another is the heart of the show. With Citadel, we have an organization that's meant to be the safeguard for the entire globe. And it acts as such by having representatives from all around the globe working together, to be honest. Citadel could exist in the world that we live in right now, and none of us know it. Manticore will always find you. Manticore has a malevolent agenda that has quietly formed in the background, and it's going to challenge Citadel for power on the world stage. Our journey starts where we meet these two characters on the train. We can tell there's sparks between them. I'm surprised to show your face at all. You got a mask I can borrow? I got dozens left. When you see Mason and Nadia's banter, you're like, ooh, there's history there. And then we instantly get thrust into their physical abilities and what they're capable of. Alone, these two spies are top of their game in the world. When they really come alive is when they work together. When Mason and Nadia come together, they become one organism. And you see them taking out a bunch of people, but also you see that there are lies between them. I need to tell you something. He needed to say something to her that he didn't, and she needed to say something that she didn't. I lied to you. I lied to you. And before they can, the train blows up. When we meet Kyle, it's eight years later, and he's kind of become the opposite of the man he was. Blueberry pancakes? How many of those are you gonna eat? All of them. Save one for me, will ya? On one hand, you've got a man with a wife and a daughter and his loyalty to that, and that should be his priority. And on the other hand, you've got a man who doesn't know who he is. You know, no one came looking for me after the accident. You know, imagine how horrible I must have been to not have one single person come looking for me. He is straddling this gray zone of what's morally right. Do you want to save your family? And that's something that I think the whole show embodies, is this gray zone of what are you doing for yourself, what are you doing for others, and what's right and what's wrong. And there's no clear answer to that. We're setting the table for what is about to take place. What are you going to believe? Who's telling the truth? And how far will you go? to find answers. You've been searching to find out who you are. We're here to help you.